make a habit of empathy, to recognize ourselves in each other. My name is Nora Hoffman, Nora Hoffman, and I teach NVC and I support BNVC's logistics in their retreats. I, I think on one hand, empathy is a spiritual practice. It's an attitude of assuming that all things that people do come actually from a constructive intent, from wanting to meet needs that may be conscious or unconscious, and, but to trust that behind anything any person does, even though the action they take or the words they say I might, might be horrendous to me and might not meet my needs, but that underneath that it's really that they're attempting with the best of their knowledge at the given time to meet needs. And also to trust that ultimately everybody does have caring in their heart. Uh, I know that I have different experiences. Some are more difficult and some are more flowing. At, at, when it really flows, it just feels like a friendly curiosity, just wanting to know, oh, who are you right now? There's no outcome or agenda. It's just like being with who are you, who am I, and just this friendly sharing of each other. And is there other feelings? So you have the curiosity? And um, I have sometimes different phenomena in my experience. I sometimes will suddenly start feeling feelings in my body. And when I ask the person, it's actually what they're feeling. So I'm at times able to say, suddenly I'll feel this anxiety. I'll be like, what is it now? Are you feeling anxious? And then they'll say, yes, I am. Or I feel this profound grief and I can't pinpoint it. And I'll ask, are you feeling deep grief? And they're like, yeah. And another interesting experience I sometimes have that it doesn't happen with everybody is that suddenly I can see the person's experience. Like I can see three-dimensionally almost, like what they're perceiving, how they're perceiving it, how they're seeing themselves positioned, and how they're reacting with their feelings to it. And I guess those are more psychic phenomena of empathy. But it's, it's different than the one where I just don't know anything. I just sit there with a friendly, friendly inquiry wanting to know you. And yeah. You know, if you're really present, if you're really present, the boundaries between the sense of self and a separation disappears. And so I believe that actually empathy is a pathway, especially with the NVC model where you have intellectual steps you can practice to reach a certain heart space or state of mind, that it's actually a, dis a descriptive path to experiencing a sense of non-separation, a sense of there not being any others. Yeah, it's very spiritual in that way. Can you recall like the most intense experience you've had like that? It wasn't even no intense. Let's see. Or deep or Yeah, when I was part of the of the committed practitioner training, committed NVC practitioner training in 2000, 2006. As a member of the group, I remember instead of seeing individuals, it was more like I had a need alive and I'd be drawn to a person with whom I could share depending on what the need was. And it wasn't any more about having fixed ideas of, about who people are. It was more spontaneously in the moment with who could I experience what I wanted to experience. So that it, it took away the personal level and it just became sort of just aliveness of needs and, and aliveness with each other. It's, you can get like a huge relief for example, the other day, um, I, I, got, I was very, very upset and, you know, somebody was using a title that I, I had met out for workshops and, and I was very upset and, and needed to sort through because I needed to take action and, and I wanted to connect with them and stuff like that. But what was really, really fantastic is like I ran into my housemate and I just like, she was like, how are you doing? I'm like, rah, 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 rah. And she just kept giving me empathy and then there is this moment where you're just like, Whew, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. And you're right, they probably didn't even think. You know, they didn't connect it. It wasn't intentional. And then I could actually, you know, then I can act, but from a place of clarity. So I think that's a fantastic side effect. It kind of, it calms your nervous system, <laughs> you know? Like, it's, it's just the sinking into the heart and seeing the goodness of, the, of yourself and of other people in the world again. And I think that's great, value in wanting peace in the world. I was 20 or 21 and I was in profound pain and having trauma that I didn't recover from, didn't even know how, how to talk about it. And I went to a group and I had judgments about this one woman. I didn't like her from the beginning, but you know, in a group you, as you keep working and you do deeper work, you see people from the inside. And as I started, seeing her in that landscape, I really 
started liking her and it taught me a lot about that I can't always see as deep as would enable me to love a person as I see them but I, it rem I'll always do my best to remind myself that that depth is there I, it's just like you can't see it like it's my eyes are blind to it at this point but I could see it if I looked deeply enough